Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that sounds so sweet and nice. Okay, anyway guys, so first thing is first, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you tell all your friends to hit that subscribe button. I am so far away from my goal with subscribers. If I ever mark my words, and you guys remind me, <laughs> if I ever reach 100,000 subscribers, I know that sounds like a whole lot and a long ways ago, but if I ever, ever reach that, I promise you guys, I will do a full body silicone baby giveaway. That's what I would do. But I know it would take like forever because I mean, I need like <laughs> almost 50,000 more people to subscribe to my channel. Like, how am I going to get that to happen? Anyway, but that's, that's my goal. I said, if I ever do that, I will buy a kit, paint it and put it up for a giveaway. Anyway, the, um, the other thing is I have a paid channel membership and it is four dollars and 99 cents to join you do have to be at least 18 years old and in that channel membership you know you get exclusive content you get the heads up what i'm working on um what's coming out i've had a couple people like say well you know i don't know if i want to join the membership but it seems like the people in the membership buys the dolls first um that's not always the case i do also post so this is the order of where i post i post in my paid membership first or they at least know it's coming ahead of time i post on my facebook page which is miss serenity smith and that's where you just click follow so guys make sure you guys follow that page share that page tell your friends to follow me on that page as well um it's not my personal profile of serenity smith it's the Miss Serenity Smith page, the actual page. Um, I post there and then I start posting in other groups and stuff like that. I'm also on Instagram, so I will post babies on Instagram if, you know, they haven't sold between the other two posts. Um, now, I need you guys also to get in the habit of hitting that thumbs up. I know we're all busy. Sometimes you can't comment, but give my videos thumbs up. I need more likes, more and more likes, more and more likes. Okay, that helps me float through the algorithm. Um, now that we've done all the pleasantries, um, I came on. I have Jonah here. I'm just giving you guys an update what's going on with Jonah. No, he is not sold. No, he is not for sale. But he is going to be growing hair really soon. I did a little test part over here on his side. You can't hardly see it because it is a light color. I am going with a different hair coloring uh, mix with him because I follow this real baby and I absolutely love him and he's almost the same color as my Jonah and so I want Jonah to have very similar color hair as him because I think he's the most adorable baby so stay tuned um I don't know if I'll I know once I get him on the rooting table completely he'll get pulled from videos and pictures because once they start getting hair all over him I don't I don't bring them back into the nursery I just keep them in my room with me where I actually root um so I'm really excited about that and um it probably won't be the most popular choice of color for him for many but he's going to be so sweet my goal is to be able to keep him and the new baby that I bought from the show the kit that I brought from the show which I will you know you guys will see me in the video and you probably will see me in some of the other people lives or uh, recordings because, you know, it was a lot of people recording and God knows who caught what on live. But I was just so excited and I think I ended up turning off the camera because we started talking, you know, money and this and that. And so um, I walked around to be sure because I don't like to buy on impulse. 
I rarely ever buy at doll shows, just FYI. I just normally just go and enjoy sightsee, see what's there, and then know in the future if I want to buy from these artists later. Um, I have, this year will be the first year that I've actually bought like a doll from the doll show, I think. Um, so I bought two. And there's a store, funny story about one of them, but I will um, tell you guys all of that in my live stream that will be later tonight. So, um, or I don't know if I'm going to upload this before or after. I probably uploaded it before. I don't know. But I, um, like I said, I normally just look, but this time I did actually buy. And so I was excited about that. But my goal is to keep him and the other little boy. Um, the sculpt name, just giving y'all a heads up, is Hudson River, I think, or Valor or something like that. So, um, you guys know I love my, my soft babies. I love my babies with their armatures and all that great jazz. I walked around and I went to look to make sure that I was doing the right thing. I had my eye on another kit as well. And I had to make some hard choices because... I decided to go to the doll show last minute, so um, a lot of unexpected money being spent for the travel, for the show, the hotel, you know, and then I turned around and bought, you know, dolls and stuff like that. And right after I bought the vinyl baby, I ended up, you know, deciding I wanted to buy a kit, so that happened. Um, so by the time I got back, they were already uh, sold, the ones that I was looking at. So the sculptor is going to pour me a kit, um, one of those kits, and, um, you know, with, you know, my specifications and stuff and whatever, you know, that I asked for in the kit. So it's going to be exciting. And hopefully I should probably have it like next week sometime. Um, and I'll share the blank um with you guys so um also i am waiting for silicone studio <laughs> oh my gosh they got the cutest awake babies and um i love them both i do i am really really excited also about uh jennifer's um jennifer sussman price Awake baby, I think you guys are going to really, really love this baby if she doesn't squash it <laughs> or change it too much from where she is with it now. So, and it's awake. Oh my gosh. Did I say that already? It's awake. I am usually a sleeper person, but I've been saying lately, I need a awake baby. I need a awake baby. So, I'm excited about it. Um... And so I'm, I'm trying to hold out for that. So I'm going to keep a space for that for my personal collection. So I'm really, really fine-tuning my personal collection. Um, I'm going to be still collecting and buying like a nut, like we all do. Um, I know I like to say I'm not, but, you know, the reality of the situation is, is that we are. We, we are going to continue to buy it. If you're a collector, it just happens. Sometimes you have to sell babies to buy babies. So I, you will probably see me selling a couple of the babies out of my, my collection. And those are babies that just was going to leave at some point or another anyway. Um, it might just be a little bit sooner because of what I'm trying to do and trying to accomplish. And financially, I just can't keep them all. But there are some babies will be like here to stay. Um, so... That's where I'm at. Um, I am also going to be uh, trying to root my personal babies now. I don't have no real obligations to anyone. Um, right now, I mean, I have one baby that's a private order. And um, I know what you guys are going to say, but occasionally I have that prerogative. I can take a private order. I really, really wanted to paint the scope. And I was like, ah. I'll paint it because <laughs> I really, really wanted to paint the scope. So um, I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm like so excited about it that I'm actually trying my hardest to like 
take breaks and not rush myself with the um my personal babies that's on the table right now because part of me just want to rush them so that I can get to this other baby and I'm not going to do that I'm taking my time but um as soon as I finish my cuddle with hands and feet then I'm going to put this baby on the table and I will have another cuddle with hands and feet for sale um it was making it for me personally but I am going to let that one go I am going to still probably have that one in my collection later um and paint a different one for me but I'm going to go ahead and have that one up for sale so what else so yeah it's just a lot of exciting things I'm feeling really good because like I mentioned before I'm going back to work a full-time job and um Although I'll still be working from home, I will, you know, I will actually be working and I won't be able to like work all through the time, but I will be able to, um, hmm, interesting. I just noticed something. I will be working during that time. Um, so I won't be actually like painting and stuff like that, even though I'm working from home, but at least I'll get to work from home and <laughs> won't have to worry about going out. So, um, but the point of that is, is to say that I'm going to be able to work more, paint more for myself. So you'll probably see, I don't know, I'm thinking you're going to see less babies for sale from me, but you'll still see lots of babies being painted from, by me. And I'm still going to be doing my channel. I've been doing my channel for the last 10 years and I've always worked. Um, so... I don't think my um, videos are going to slow down as much as probably interaction, you know, responding might be slower. Um, and like I said, getting new babies out might be slower. But, you know, once I find my rhythm, I probably will either get back to the same or who knows, I may just be like, <laughs> I've done this long enough and might just fall on the ground. I don't know. But... We'll see with that. I can't predict the future. And I don't like to make those like, you know, like I said in the last video, I don't like to say, oh, I'm leaving. And the next thing you know, I'm still here. So I'm just telling you, I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited. And I feel like I can finish up my personal babies because, you know, I won't have to rush to do other babies for income because I'll have an actual job again. Um... I don't know how that's going to work either, too, because I've been so used to being home and doing what I want to do and when I want to do it. Uh, I don't know, but we're going to see. We're going to all see how it goes. Um, look forward to, uh, I just have so much. I'm not going to tell you guys every single thing, but just make sure you stay tuned to my channel because I have a lot of things planned for this channel, but I just want to just do them instead of talk about them. So, anyway, that is it. You guys know Jonah is the Kellen Sculpt by Mesa Said, poured by Maria Grover. He is definitely one of my favorites. And um, I just love his little softness and his little silicone. He has, you know, like any other baby, he has his little qualms, but nothing drastic I just ugh, I cannot get enough of him like he I I I actually hate when I hear people say oh it just he just melts me but that's what I want to say because it's like he's just like melting soft so um yeah so that's where we're at and um Again, like I said, I hope you guys come and join me in the live stream later. And so I can tell you all the stories, give you an honest review of the show. Um, the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, and from my perspective, from my view, and that's it. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.